during large rain events, water floods many different places. This is a flood from the driveway, and you can see it's just pouring into the front entry. How much of this water is going under the home? So we're out here at Jan and Phil's house, and they have a huge moisture problem. She's actually showing me a spot right here where the napkin is. Um, it was right here. And they've got a little tiny crack in the grout. And they say that water comes up in here every day, whether it rains or not. So we're gonna put a moisture meter on here just to take a look. So if you can see that and actually hear the alarm, that's 60%, that is tremendous amounts of moisture that is underneath of this floor. That is very high. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're gonna to do a little maintenance on a drain line that the homeowners installed because they've got a serious water problem inside. So we're gonna take a look at this drain and you can see it right here by the driveway. As that water floods the driveway, they put in a catch basin and of course it's backed up, but let's take a look, see if we can't figure out what that's, where that line's going. That's more of an exploratory today. We just want to find out where it goes. Protocol on cleaning a catch basin drain line is always the same. We basically are going to run the steel wound cable from our Spartan 1065 down through the line. I suspect there's going to be a lot of tree roots down this line because they've never cleaned it and they have no idea where it goes. So Phil and Jan had so many different companies out here, everybody from leak detection to people that are saying, let's put in all these pipes and let's do this, let's do that. But no one really knew where that water was coming from. She had sent me several photos. Here's the front entryway. You can see it's flooding. This is from the garage, from the driveway. All that water was pouring down into here. So as I'm running this line, I'm getting stuck down in the tree roots. Here's another photo of the same area, a different rainfall. Look at this. All of that water just pours into this area. So much water is under this floor that even when it's dry, sometimes ground pressure pushes that water up through her tile. Remember, this line has never been cleaned and it's about 12 or more years old. This line is full of tree roots. Take a look at these tree roots. It's amazing what people think doesn't get into their pipes. Tree roots get into any kind of pipe, whether it's corrugated or PVC. It makes no difference. And when that cable bites into that stuff, wow, does it really take a lot of effort to get that cable back. I've been cleaning and installing rainwater drainage systems for a long time. But even when that cable gets stuck today, I always wonder, am I going to get it back? <laughs> it's something that does go through your mind. But again, protocol. There's certain things and certain steps to pulling that cable back that you learn as you learn to do this type of job. And just like my saying at the end of the video, if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. If you keep this smile and you keep this attitude, I promise you that you can get this cable back. Again, the protocol, pull off as much tree roots as you can. Basically, there is a big pack of tree roots right there at the end of the cable, not allowing me to pull this back out of the pipe. So I need to get that cable to rotate. So I'm going to turn it back on one more time and just let it spin for just a second. Now I'm going to really yank on it. If you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. That's my saying. And always keep your smile and you'll get through these problems. I get such a kick out of some of the other YouTube channels that speak so highly of, you know, stopping tree roots and never getting into your system. And yet they have no capability of cleaning the drain line. Tree roots get into all pipes, whether they're corrugated, ABS, PVC, Sinwall PVC, SDR 35, it doesn't matter. I guess the big tip here is when you call out a drain company to work on your rainwater drainage system, you should ask them, can they clean the line? So you'll notice that I'm actually going back down the drain line because we need to make sure this line is clean. It is so important. We want to run this cable all the way out and try to find the end of the line. No one knows where that is. 
this cable allows us to find the end of the line because we can hear it. So we'll let that water run for a little while and just see if, those, if that was a really the blockage. That's a good mound right there. So I've run this line several times now and feel really good about it. Found the discharge. We are actually pulling the cable back. This line went out about 120 feet out to the back towards the lake. And I know this line is good and clean. It's like brand new. So we're going to pull the cable back and then I'll show you the discharge here where the line comes out. Remember this area was flooding. They installed the catch basin to collect the water from the driveway and it was working okay. But they still need a lot more work here to solve this problem of that water coming up inside the house every day. A lot of people ask why I don't use cutters. You know, I've been doing this so long and I actually have found that if you put a kink at the end of the cable, can you see how it's kinked? It'll do a much better job of cleaning the pipe. Okay, so we pulled out a big glob of root and now I'm just testing the line. They don't know where it goes and I see no evidence of it coming up. I did find it. I dug it up right here. You can see the line because that's where it was stuck. But it goes all the way back out to the lake. Oh yeah, looking good. So if we open this up a little bit, you can see it really starts to flow. There we go. And that pipe is right there. Can you see it? And what's happened, can you see this tree root? Big tree wrapped around it and it's squishing it. But it's working good. Line's coming out. Just need to open it up more, but looking real good. So remember, by cleaning existing drains, you can learn so much and you might even solve your problem. This cleaning definitely helped, but Phil and Jan want to install a channel drain across the driveway and then also add a sump pump and do a little bit of waterproofing on that front wall. So we've got them on the schedule for that. Stay tuned for that video when we get to that. We're running about two to three weeks behind right now, so it's going to be a little while before we make that video. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.